We are the continent's first fact-checking website. What it means is that we look at statements public figures make, whether they are politicians or um, singers or anybody that has influence, and we then compare it to the facts based in public documents, and we, um, we reach a verdict, we write up the report, and we publish it on our website. Uh, there, any member of the public can um, access it and read our stories. We try to spread uh, the, the content as far and wide as possible. We jealously guard our independence and our non-partisanship. So we make sure that we fact check both sides of the debate, that we look into different topics, uh, that, so that we cover um, a great variety of topics and speakers and um, different organisations over time. But our big main criteria is what, what would be the impact if we don't fact check this? And that, that guides our decisions. But we also rely a lot on our readers, so we're always grateful for suggestions um, of things that people see that makes them wonder and they, they think, oh, let's send this to Africa Check. We have different audiences at Africa Check, so uh, we obviously aim at the public leaders so that they read our reports and correct themselves or make sure that they don't repeat the false information. Um, we try to put the pressure on them to, 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 to use accurate information. We're also used by journalists that um, are reporting on different issues, um, but then we try just to reach the regular person on the street as well. Uh, anybody that there's an issue that affects their lives, we, we try to put the correct information in their hands. And the idea is that when there's better information in public, people can make better decisions.